What is going on my friends? Welcome back to another video. As you can tell, we are back down in Polaris Razor Ranger land at I-69 Motorsports in Union City, Tennessee. Now in the last video, which was only two short weeks ago, we were down here picking up a new Ranger 1500 XD, which we are in the process of building. You guys have seen a couple videos about that thing. You guys are absolutely loving it. So we're mid build process in that. Now in that video two weeks ago, I told you guys, I dropped a little hint that we had ordered a 2020 25 razor that we were waiting for it to kind of come in because the new 2025s weren't in yet well we got a real early phone call again from the guys at uh, i69 motorsports our man jay again if you guys are interested in anything polaris related come down to i69 motorsports you're not going to get a better deal a better price better customer service than dealing with our man jay here so anyway uh he gave me a call and was like hey man i know it's like a month early but your new 2025 Pro S is here. So that's why we're down here. Uh, you guys know we couldn't leave it alone, so we've already been doing some modifications to it here before we even pick it up. But we're about to walk inside, we're about to see it for the first time. And according to what I've been seeing, not very many people have their hands on the 2025s yet. So we will be one of the first people with 2025, and I'm super excited, I'm super pumped to build this alongside with the Ranger. Let's go check out this new machine. We were actually about to come over here and look for you. How are you? What's up, guys? Uh, How's, great, it great. How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? How are you doing? Good, good. What's up, dude? Right. How's it going? Back again. Yes, okay. sir. Yes, sir. The audio, like the audio that's like, for whatever, it's stage six or seven yeah. or whatever the hell they call it, like, <laughs> the, like this is already... That's a stage four. This is already a four, so the other ones don't come with any of that, I guess, or, or some. You're changing the, the speaker itself. Oh, uh, okay. It's got a different grill. They're like, uh, they're metal yeah. stainless steel Okay. Grills. Sub, sub, and then the door power. Oh, speakers. okay, so you're not actually like technically adding a whole it's not like you're adding seven more locations you're no. just improving yep. what's Every already door there and okay door speakers and yep. you're getting door speakers so and you're adding, door speakers yeah you're adding okay. door speakers and then you're getting the increased subwoofer as well okay um, it does not have a sub now it does but okay. it's a 10 inch instead of 12 inch okay gotcha. so that's going to be the biggest difference that you're going to see on that aspect okay. wow they put a 10 inch in there mm -hmm. and then they put a 12 inch in there jeez louise that's that was the problem oh. in the past you didn't have room for a big sub for their yeah. space and now they, they've got it so yeah. i know like um like at the show they were like or it was either at the show or like one of polaris's videos they were like showing the different like like it's either cooler or storage yeah. and stuff like that do you guys have that stuff in or no let me check okay i know we've been getting a lot of 25 stuff in for okay. pro mm -hmm. line um or do you guys have the do you, do you have the 20 do you have the 2025 book yet Yes, okay. I just got them last week. Because maybe so. I can look at that and I'll get you point you more stuff. specifically than, yeah. Yeah. than like the 15, order, it's kind of order, funny because the, yeah. well, the 1500 like only has like one page. There's not really yeah, a whole lot yeah. like to that, but I feel like this is like way different. Yeah, the other tweeters, like they actually bolt to a mount. The, uh, uh, okay. the old ones like it was a rubber boot that just slid yeah. in and it would come out. Pretty good for a pack. Like, you would never get bass out of anything else. Like you never had bass. Yeah, no matter ever. What you did. Yeah. So now. That's all I wanted. To do. <laughs> That's all I wanted to do. We took the Ranger around, and I got it back home, and I took it to the first show, and I like felt it out here a little bit, but you can't go fast enough to like actually like feel it. And like we're at this show, and I'm just like, all right, we're time to open, time to open this bad boy up. I'm like. What is okay? There's something I was about ready to call. I was like, dude, there's something wrong with this thing. Like, it's not. And the one dude, his uh, the fleece guys have one too. And they're like, is your seatbelt buckled? I'm like, no, why would that matter? He goes, buckle your seatbelt. I'm like, ha ha. I'm like, okay, now it's actually fast. I'm like, okay, because we're, we're driving around here with no seatbelts on. I'm just like, I didn't realize that it would limit like everything. I was like, well, I feel, yeah, I feel stupid. I feel stupid now. It's just like, buckle your seatbelt. I'm like, you want to go more than 15, right. you got to. Gotta buckle up. Buckle up. But in this thing, it's like, man, 
Probably should just go, go ahead and be buckled in. Yeah, see, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> Especially with Greg driving. Ask James about it. I don't know what you're talking about. Michael and Dawson have a running bet of whether or not the thing's going to be flipped on its lid by you know, the first day or not. Yeah. That's great. All I can say is, like, no matter how bad you want to do donuts, it will catch at some point. Yeah. That's why we had to wait for 2025s to come out. <laughs> right there. Just just for that. Just for that. I mean, that, the, the off that, sequence is nice, too. This, this is... That is sick. I'm sure the street legal kit probably oh, like, yeah. has it. Something I think it, like that. I think it's in there. Yeah, typically a lot of times, like, because this is, like, what they kind of pulled from, like, older generations. Like, you know, your previous, like, Turbo S and stuff had the big fang lights, and they're always a hit. Uh, so they kind of brought them back, but a lot of your turn signal kits and stuff will be switchbacks. Corbin has a kit you can buy a replacement headlights that have everything built into the headlight. Right, okay, but hey, not for the 1500s yet, hey, probably? John, Tony, do they do a Corbin headlight replacement for a 1500? They don't have it out yet, but... It's probably coming. It's coming. Because they have it out for the regular Rangers. So. Okay. And that, that, that's the name of the brand, Corbin? Corbin Custom Works. And that's, what, and that's what you guys usually know? Mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, we have... I'd say next to zero, if any issues at all, the out of them. Like, nice. Their connectors are nice. Their harness is nice. It and like it replaces in. the whole tail light and the, the headlight, not just like so the, the stick on. It'll just plug into the tail light harness, and then you know, of course, oh. it'll, it'll allow them blinker function and that kind. Of, and of course, you just have to stop turning the tail out in the front. But if you do a replacement headlight, it'll just be, of course, holding your headlight plug in, have their maybe like a piggy or a pigtail off their harness, and right. be good to go. And they probably don't even have that for the 2025s then yet either, because yeah. the lights are different. You could uh, you take yours down there and then they make it one. Those are optional. We don't need those where we're going. Oh no. No. Oh, oh, I, think you're, I think you're taking horsepower off because those are stickers, so. Scooters are bear tested, so apparently bear tested. Bear tested. So apparently, I was asking one of the players. I said, "You know what does that mean?" He was like, "They have to take the coolers and uh, smear the inside of it with peanut butter, close the cooler, and let a bear try and get in it for an that hour." That's not true. That that is. Someone, I'll, I'll, I'm about to look I'll, up the bear cooler I'll, test. I'm sure it's a YouTube video. I'll, I'll, yeah, I want a person that's employed by Polaris <laughs> to verify that. Like you're telling me a bear can't open it and somehow paw these latches open. Yeah. Koala bear? Yeah, yeah. I did. <laughs> just sits there? I said, is that just sitting there? Is that bolting? He goes, not just sitting there. I'm just like, I see what you're doing here. Yeah. Bear proof, brother. Bear proof. No, not that. That's not the cooler. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. It's got the locking rods. Uh, a little oh, twist. Okay. Or, is that a drain plug? No, uh, for a boat, yep. That's for you to shut your mouth. <laughs> Open up. It just takes uh, one in each corner. Oh, okay. So I can see. Wow. Just so I can see Cody Lambert behind me. <laughs> it's like two videos in a row I'm calling people out. <laughs> dude, look at that spoiler, dude. Basically, it's basically a sunroof tilted up. That's about the same amount of flex, you know? Yeah. That's, what, that's, that's what's going on here right now. Yeah, dang. Can't wait to have that thing all mangled up when we flip it. What? What? You would never do that.
washed up and cleaned up and already done. Yeah. Mm. Take them stickers off, she was a bad unit. About to. About to as soon as we get home. It's washed up. Look at that paint, baby. Dang. See the hoods, the hoods. Got the, got the proper air ventilation. This thing's just itching to be taken off that ledge right there. I know. I'm over here like, do yeah, we really need to do we the- We cleaned it out. We made That's sure what we I was saying, like y'all cleaned it out just for just for today's activities. Or cutting the grass, I mean, yeah. either one. Who's to say, really? Yeah. That's a bad girl. That's a bad girl. Are you, you jumping You jumping in the driver's seat? Yeah, I'll check it out. Run through everything. What are those? So those are the switch dummies, but I'm assuming they're for toggle switches like these. Like you see how these Why they got cut? so many, like, Man, people put a lot of stuff How on How many the lights you gonna have? Man, man you'd be surprised. You gonna need well, rock I mean, lights? Think, all right, so light bar up front. Most people do one on the roof, running the bumper. Uh, whips. Uh, oh, the seat, rock belts, lights. the seat belts are wet. That's why I'm like, man. Oh yeah. Why am I, why am I getting this cooling effect? <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, they'll have a lot of people do chase lights, that kind of thing with them. So and winch, you know, just all kinds of accessories people put on. So they make sure they give you clean. This uh, should raise up. You got storage there, and also this raises up too. Make sure you USB rack mount. Little dongle on that. Oh, oh wow, that's deep. Holy oh. shit. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> Man, this steering wheel is freaking sick. Oh yeah, that's the way to go. Alright, so when you turn your key on, of course you got you know power steering, everything's gonna kick on. As far as your uh, steering wheel with the controls, you're gonna get the right command controls here, uh, and you also get dynamics. So this is a scramble button for dynamics. Uh, so if you hit, you know, basically if you get nitrous, air, nitrous comes in. It's more scramble for the suspension. So if you uh, hit a big jump or something, you're gonna come down hard and grab that scramble button. You know, lock the suspension out full stiffness. So that when you hit, you don't hit as hard. I've heard people describing this like if you're about to hit a whoop section yeah. out of the blue, and that's just because it stiffens. Okay. So you know, you kind of get a little bit more stiffer effect. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of different uses for it. Obviously, like you once you drive it and get used to it, like you'll know. But it automatically goes to a set thing. That's grabbing that scramble button. So okay. It locks it out like that, and then you can also adjust your ride modes too. So you can go from comfort, track, rock, and by high. So that's how you control everything like that through the okay. steering wheel. And then also, so you rack command too. So kind of volume up and down with this, skip tracks, all that jazz. You can hit your menu button, uh, and that'll cycle through your options. So if you want to go through gauges, uh, audio, uh, with your GPS, all that as well. Okay. Keep Control most of that from the steering wheel without ever using the screen. As far as your switches, you are going to have a basically a flip switch for four wheel drive, uh, then your headlight switch for low and high, and the headlight switch is momentary. Okay. Uh, so click it up once to be high beam, click it up again, take it out of high beam. What's the four wheel drive? Is it like it's not like the uh, it's not like the Pro R's, uh, or it's so, not like the Ranger either, right? Right, like, what so, is it? So it'll be just two or just true four lock. Okay, uh, so okay. The, Pro, the Pro R's they, they also have the option for limited slip on the front end, okay, so you can do like a three wheel. Um, but with these, they're just going to be uh, two wheel in the back, or click it up for true four wheel. And are these vents the ones that come mm -hmm. in from just the front? Yep. So with your hood scoop intake that you got right there, yeah, uh, they're going to come in. They have like a P trap in them to catch most of the dust, so that way dust won't be a big issue uh, coming in. But of course, you can open and close these and point them to kind of. And mainly the biggest reason too, they have added a shield on the back of the radiator to try and keep a lot of that heat from coming in down low. Mm -hmm. uh, this helps even more keeping that you know keeping your lower leg or lower area of the cab cool as well. Uh, you got plenty of storage up under here. Uh, you do have a glove box behind you as well. Uh, of course, these are going to come with the harnesses and they're retractable seatbelt style. Uh, so that's really cool with them. You know, you're not like you're locked in if you need to lean forward or anything, and they will lock just like right. a seatbelt if you were ever were to roll it over or end up on its lid. But cool. no, no, never. <laughs> coolest thing with this, uh, which I said there's nothing good that's uh, YouTube friendly to play on uh, on the stereo, but you take the word for it, it's got a banging stereo. Yes, that different. They hit a little harder. Just look at the clarity. Whoa, whoa. That, that's nice. Mm -hmm. And man, as far as your accessory stuff you've added, you just added your side mirrors. You got your rear view mirrors here. Yeah. Uh, and then you, you got some uh, pretty cool powder coat uh, hiding up under this thing, too. Yeah. I think it's the uh, Greg A special. I think we got the like Greg A gold. Greg A gold. What a, what a beast. Shoo! Do we, uh, what about a wheel and tire option? I think we might save that. I'm gonna save that. Might, might might just save it for for a rainy day. Save it save it for another video. I like that. Man, the gold is perfect. It is really good in the sun. Yeah, it does. That drag wing hits. Oh yeah. That's, that's a really good like yeah. small detail. Oh yeah. Man, as far as like uh, as far as you know engine intake that kind of stuff. 
Uh, your clutch inlet and engine intake sides are both going to be right here. These have frog skins on them. Uh, so you can, you know, if you're washing the machine off, you can spray it with water, but I would not take a water hose or a pressure washer and put directly up to the screen, obviously. Right. Can these uh, come, do these come off? They do, clean? but they're, they're clamped on like the bottom. So you can okay. clamp them and pull them up. Uh, oh, if you need okay. to pull them up. Um, and then you've also got your cooler in the back. Now this was not a bear proof cooler, but you know, this is a, <laughs> that's a, that's a bit, you know. And then you got your storage box up front as well. And then uh, do, these do have the reverse camera too, so we can see what's behind you. Plus you got your rear view. Man, it's kind of crazy. The stickers are simulating the gloss paint to merge it into that. That's that's kind of funny. And like this color is merging it to into that color. So you almost don't want to take off that bottom sticker or that top one. What a unit! Absolutely, Absolute unit. So so. The belt, the belt procedure. Mm -hmm. That's important. <laughs> yep. So, what Polaris is going to recommend is 50 miles and low, 50 miles and high. And I've got your paperwork and everything for that on my desk okay. too. Um, and now, a lot of people don't realize that is not just for the belt starting out on a new machine. That's going to be for the clutches. That's the, the clutches. Big, that's the biggest thing is you're you're doing a break in not only for the belt but for the clutches. So now, when you replace a belt, you know down the road if you ever you know just have a wear mark in a belt or just replace it just for normal PM. Uh, it's just going to be like five minutes and low, five minutes and high. Get the belt, a little temp in it, get it seated, and it'll be good. Uh, but that first initial break in is both a combination of the belt and the clutches together. Gotcha. tell the people you know if they need a good machine give us a call and uh, also we can take care of all their powder coat needs as well yeah just come see jay that's all you need to know i69 motorsports tennessee come see jay i don't know what else you could i mean you get, you get the greg a gold you have to come see jay though for that they don't they don't actually they won't powder coat anything gold unless it comes through jay he's the man <laughs> and we might even uh, be able to hook him up on that greg a deal too Woo! the lights come on all the time or is it only when the lights are on the fangs the well, fangs the fangs and that little accent panel right here they're on all the time uh -huh. they're on key on power so it's so it's sex appeal all the time yes. sex appeal all the time that's what basically that's all that's what i was getting at you yes. know it's definitely going to turn some heads you see that coming at you You're like damn can't even get that guy's got a small the hoods on the new ones are just hey, like since you took it down how does the airflow through no i did i there was a whole lot of airflow coming everywhere else you know what i mean i don't really Ridiculous. You're supposed to be doing this for science. Science, man, not yet. Hey guys, 
Well, here she is, the 2025 Razor Pro S. So uh, it's kind of funny. They changed the name uh, in 2025. The Pro S is basically what I believe the Turbo R uh, was called. It is essentially a very, very similar machine, a similar engine. Uh, it is the turbo engine. It's not the Pro R. Now, uh, I was really, really tempted to uh, get a Pro R, but from a lot of the guys who are in this area that we'll be riding with uh, they strongly advise to not go with the pro r i'm not saying the pro r is like a strictly dune machine uh but the four cylinder engine it's a little bit heavier machine it's a little bit bigger of a machine i've I'm, I'm just going off of people who have more experience than i and that i'll be riding with um so that's why we kind of opted to go with the uh turbo version the 2025 pro s uh i love turbos i don't know who doesn't love turbos i'm not saying the pro r four cylinder isn't an absolute beast uh but we did purposely go with this option and not a pro r plenty of stuff to come again we'll be doing a full build on the channel uh with everything again huge thank you to the guys at i69 motorsports for getting us hooked up with the best deal best price um you're not going to find a better price on a polaris machine i can guarantee you that in-house powder coating uh changing everything over to gold uh we will definitely be getting rid of some stickers and stuff here very very soon but had to wait for 2025s to come out because I really, really wanted a all black machine uh, and the new lighting and some of the new 2025 features with the hood, the way they look. Um, I'm, I'm just super, super, super pumped. When we always go pick up new stuff, I never feel like my first initial reactions ever like get the excitement that I feel inside because there's a lot of stuff happening. But trust me when I tell you this thing is a beast. So this is a ultimate trim level, uh, again, which we kind of talked about some of the audio comes with the rocker phosgate it's a stage four already they do make a few more stages up from that uh it's kind of funny reagan has already been wheeling this thing uh she has been driving it in the yard uh but overall such a nice machine they kind of have like inner door panels now as opposed to some of the other models uh, lower than this uh just to kind of like a quick up close look here's all your massive dummy switches for all your lights that we're going to put on this thing or not put on this thing got a subwoofer this the the system in this thing is actually already pretty decent to begin with in the ultimates you get the dynamic suspension on here which again uh, jay was going through the different modes uh that the suspension is kind of like smart adapting to but it is insane it is honestly insane back when i had my razor 1000 back in 2014 2015 they kind of see 10 plus years of progression on these razors the suspension is absolutely insane like it, it is just crazy how far these things have come and how capable of an off-road machine these things are like the the suspension just blows me away how absolutely nasty it looks it, it's just it's just crazy i cannot wait to rip this thing around and again like i said it is the turboed version so you guys already know we can't leave anything alone we definitely will be making this thing pretty radical obviously the factory cages aren't as good as some of the lower profile chopped beefier cages uh engine work honestly the whole nine yards i'm really really excited along with the ranger uh build it's a little bit different than uh all of the truck builds and that obviously that's on purpose so uh, i'm excited to kind of get into just another uh category genre if you will with the side by sides with the ranger if you guys want to see some stuff done drop some comments down below tag me in some stuff on instagram what we should do to this thing who should we work with again fitment on some of the 2024 to 2025 stuff is still being verified so parts kind of just like the ranger are a little i'm not going to say obsolete on the razor but a lot of people are checking fitments on just some of the minor changes there's body changes that went on from 24 to 25 so a lot of companies are just kind of like verifying stuff currently so if you guys know some companies that we should work with again engine roll cage kickers wheels and tires stuff like that it's pretty much factory and that is not going to stay like that for very long but overall i'm super excited i am very very excited unlike the ranger that we had to kind of paint stuff to make it black this thing's already murdered out 
so you guys know in my book that it's already already that much cooler so anyway guys huge thank you to uh you guys for following along watching make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up we will be diving into side-by-side -side content but don't worry don't worry truck content is not going anywhere this is just some fun small projects that uh, i've been wanting to do for a long long time and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it as well the front ends on these things are so mean. Last plug for I-69, but again, you're not gonna find better dudes. Make sure you guys go see Jay. Make sure you tell them that I sent you so they can give you the best deal possible. Cause I can guarantee you, if you say that and you go to I-69 Motorsports, you're not gonna get a better deal. So that's gonna wrap up this video guys. We'll see you in the next one. See ya.